Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Capricorn on the eighth house cusp in a natal chart. Now, the first conclusion I come to when I look at this is that the eighth house sign being connected with sex and perhaps the, the sexual partner who, who the person may be attracted to. It could be somebody that is attracted to somebody that not necessarily has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Capricorn, but somebody that merely embodies those traits and characteristics. But it could very well be somebody that, that is, uh, has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Capricorn as well, though. Now, this could be a person that's attracted sexually to somebody that is a very mature, responsible, might be older than him or her, has a very, uh, I guess we could say, a mature uh, outlook on things, will take the, the relationship uh, very seriously. Could be somebody that's very uh, business-like, somebody that is really, um, I guess we could say, not whimsical or, or a capricious a person that just has a very serious-minded outlook as far as sex goes. And what's interesting is that in many cases that Gemini would be rising, so this could be kind of that good uh, counterpart for the, the vivacious, whimsical Gemini-type personality uh, because it, it, this would be somebody in certain ways opposite in terms of the, having the serious disposition. But the, on the other side of the coin, the person that they attract might be very orthodox and traditional uh, as well and, and maybe uh, somewhat undemonstrative. So that's something to look at with this position. Now, the eighth house also governs death. So as far as uh, death uh, may go, this person, uh, being Capricorn is the sign of longevity, could, could live to a very ripe old age and uh, at the same time uh, during in, in that period near death in that general uh, when when the period is in close proximity to death it could indicate that this person might have some difficulties perhaps with the knees and bones maybe perhaps they might uh, in some isolated cases may succumb to bone uh, cancer and uh, just general, perhaps, degeneration of the, of the bones, perhaps, uh, in this uh, period. I know a lot of people in old age might have that as well, but it might figure more prominently considering Capricorn's on the 8th house cusp in this case. Now, also, the 8th house governs transformation and regeneration. Now, perhaps this person might go through some transformation. It would be very in a very serious and methodical uh, style in a Capricorn-like way. Uh, it could be uh, something about maybe be, uh, getting more wisdom. Uh, perhaps uh, it could be through some kind of business um, operation, just through general uh, maturation uh, in general. So something where this person, they apply their strong maturity in connection uh, with this. It could be um, just someone that that really that go that has that regeneration and transformation and goes through that in a very I guess you could say in a very serious and orthodox manner. Now, also the eighth house is connected uh, with shared resources. Now, as far as the shared resources may go, perhaps the shared resources may be uh, connected, uh, perhaps with um, with some business some management position it could be something connected uh, even with advertising because capricorn is a sign that knows uh, could be very shrewd and astute as far as promoting uh, businesses and so that's a possibility uh, they could um, there could be a business that is owned together in the resources of, of that business perhaps are shared uh, this could be uh, also could be somebody as far as uh, having uh, Capricorn on the on the eighth house cusp uh, look at this and the eighth house cusp also um, it governs um, inheritances so and, and Saturn can often I mean should say Capricorn in this case Capricorn can often and Saturn can indicate uh, restrictions or difficulties or some limitations so perhaps there might be something where on an inheritance this person 
um, there might be some delays connected with this it might not person may not get the amount what he or she wants whether it's an it's something monetary or it's in possessions uh, this could be uh, something where when you look at um, Saturn as well and I'm sorry Capricorn and back to the uh, the shared resources there might be some kind of a limitation connected with this as well or this person might simply as far as anything connected with shared resources this person might be that authority figure as far as this goes and be very kind of like kind of maybe um, I guess you could say authoritative as far as uh, these matters uh, may go and as they may be very mature and responsible and disciplined as far as these matters are concerned. Now the eighth house also uh, it represents uh, support uh, from others so perhaps help can come from an older person somebody that's in some kind of management uh, business position people that are general it could be even from general laborers people that uh, are hard laborious workers that are industrious could be uh, could even come from somebody connected with the government uh, with politics uh, that those are some possibilities as far as the assistance uh, might come even from some prominent government official and uh, it could and from elderly people as well so those are some things to look at as far as Capricorn on the cusp of the eighth house uh, in a natal chart so Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the zodiac sign Capricorn on the 8th house cusp in a natal chart. Stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about having Aquarius on the 8th house cusp in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.